Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for 10 to 14 days for today's fur video. Day 10 will take us to the 23rd of June. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the episode of GFS and Isham Ensembles. Maybe I'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the set of SB2 at the end of the video for July. Because um, we can't have a look at the uh, CFS for weekly, so I haven't updated so far today. And uh, time is getting on. I've been waiting, waiting, waiting around all uh, morning. Well, not all morning, but for about an hour um, for the weekly so for CFS to update. They have not updated yet. I've got to get the video recorded. So if they turn up later on, I'll bring you them um, tomorrow. Um, otherwise, if they don't update tomorrow, I don't know what we're going <laughs> to do. But uh, I'll figure something out, don't worry. Anyway, please like, share, subscribe. Subscribe on all of today's bits. Thank you so much for doing that. Got the third Glasto update coming up for around half six this season. So that's going to be a very interesting watch. And uh, as I say, that'll be coming up this evening for the Glasto goers. Um, right, okay, let's start off then. We're going to begin. With the CT, central temperature has now rocketed to 15.3. Bear in mind, about five days ago, this was below average in the 13s. That's 1.2 degrees above 61 to 1990 average. As I say, that's provisional to uh, yesterday, to the 12th of June. Um, that's rocketing. It's uh, increased very, very quickly. And I suspect will carry on rising uh, for the next few days as well. These were GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. And that could on the Coventry today. The red line is the third year upper air temperature average for Coventry, starting off close to, not talking about, starting off above average at the boat, quite significantly so. Um, it's been a long morning, and we are going to find those upper air temperatures coming back closer to average mode uh, later on this week. Still a bit above, though, so we're going to go from, like, very warm to hot to warm to very warm. I think there will be a reduction in the temperature. Both the upper and surface temperature will come down by a few degrees. But we're still talking about very warm conditions through the next few days. Certainly into mid-20s Celsius, possibly a little bit above that. And then as we go into the weekend and uh, next week, just generally saying above average, generally saying quite warm, really, for the foreseeable future with those upper air temperature precipitation-wise. We are drying over the next few days. A few showers dotted about here and there, but I don't think there are that many of them up to the weekend. Over the weekend into next week, through the um, sort of Sunday to Tuesday period, Looks quite unsettled, then heavy showers, long as bells of rain, and or thunderstorms pushing northwards uh, from the south. So, uh, might turn quite volatile again later on in the coming weekend and into the early part of next week. After which, it looks like got a little bit of a drying trend appearing then through the final week of June. But of course, that is a very, very long way off. Temperature anomalies from the 13th, 21st to the 21st of June going to be above average. Precipitation anomalies from the 13th to the 21st of June are coming out above average as well. That is a bit of a change on what we've seen recently. And that down to heavy showers and thunderstorms moving up from the south over the weekend and into the early part of next week. Race right, from map from Earth, nullschool.net shows that wind's gone more towards an east northeast direction today. So you remember a couple of days Days ago, we're drawing up like east southeasterly winds, very, very warm uh, wind direction. The wind is still in from the east, but it's gone more sort of east northeasterly uh, now. So uh, that means that, of course, we bring slightly like fresher air in from um, more northern parts of Europe as opposed to the hot and humid air from southern Europe. It's still very warm, don't get me wrong, but that's the reason that temperature has dropped a little bit and it feels slightly fresh and slightly more comfortable at the moment. Right, let's go through to the chart data. Then. This summer later, UK met your run. is looking for big night on Friday. High pressure through the country, mostly dry, fine and hot or very warm at the end of week. Into the weekend, high pressure begins to retreat away to the northeast as this trough develops down to the south and the southwest. We actually form a fungi area of low pressure from Sunday to Monday. Now, it's got some very warm air associated uh, with it, so that's going to pull up some heat from the south, potentially, for the early part of next week, but looks really quite volatile with the risk of heavy showers, thunderstorms, long spells of rain uh, could be included in that as well. So a little bit of a melting 
apart type situation there um, by the early part of next week with that thundery trough of low pressure. And you have a look at the upper air temperatures. You see how warm the area just south with plus probably 15 cells ice firm actually uh, coming northwards there. Um, so some really quite hot air surging northwards in the of next week, but volatile. And uh, that will bring torrential rain and a risk of thunder with it. Temperatures will go back into the 30 Celsius vote if that came off. I can't, again, with a ridge of high pressure through the country on Friday, should bring mostly dry conditions at the end of the week. Very warm, too. Into the weekend, we're watching for this thundery trough of low pressure to about to our south and west and start gradually inching its way northwards as we go through next week. The train. Only part of next week anyway, the trend is more unsettled with heavy showers, longer spells of thundery rain and potentially thunderstorms coming northwards with that area of low pressure. Looks volatile. Uh, the GFS midnight run again got that rich heavy country on Friday, holds its ground into Saturday, but by Sunday to Monday, in comes this thundery area of low pressure from the south. From the southwest means heavy showers, lots of bells, rain, potentially thunder with it. Now, as we go through next week, the GFS then starts to re establish high pressure. So, for the Glasgow goers, uh, the GFS at the moment is shifting more towards a high pressure type scenario actually for the Glasgow Festival itself. More about this in our third Glasgow update this evening. But that's Saturday 24th of June, for example. Under an area of high pressure, mostly dry, and back into warm or very warm easterly winds once again. Beyond that, the high pressure sticks around the country, more or less up to the end of the GFS uh, midnight run, which gets us to the 29th of June today, under that uh, ridge of high pressure. Ouch, at her. Uh, GFS 6 said, <laughs> looks like this again on Friday. High pressure originating through the country brings lots of dry, fine, and warm weather. With I was just gradually retreating away through the weekend into the airport of next week as in comes this thundery area of low pressure from the south and from the west, too. So, heavy shower, long spells, mate. And thunderstorms are possible there all the way up to day 10. So it's a little bit on the other south side of the north. But you notice heights rising in the south. Again, this is good news for the Glasgow girls. High pressure gradually building up from the south, turning things drier. And also keeping it warm as we go to around day 7, 8, 9 and 10. And then high pressure really taking over then as we go through into the extended range with Jeff S6. So large area of high pressure back in business for the final uh, week of June. Perhaps bringing some slightly cooler air from the north and from the northeast, but basically we're high and dry there through the last week of the month. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gareth Worthies and uh, ask them to subscribe too. And we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. GM, again, with high pressure in the ascendancy on uh, Friday, still there for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, though, we start to bring thundery areas of low pressure up from the south. So, heavy shower, long spells, rain, maybe thunderstorms taking over as we go through uh, next week, too. By day 10, heights are beginning to rise in the south. This is Friday, 23rd of June. Heights begin to rise into the south, turning drier and warmer then as low pressure getting pushed away towards the north and west. And then the ECM looks like that. Again, a ridge of high pressure brings about fine weather for Friday and Saturday, too. Through Sunday through to Monday, though, heavy showers, longer spells, rain, and thunderstorms start to push northwards with that thundery area of low pressure by day 10. The high pressure jerk begins to reach back into the south and being mostly dry for uh, the Glasgow Festival and Glasgow goers. Meanwhile, up in the north, though, probably still quite showery up there. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from tobedshow.com. We've got lots of dry weather to come over the next few days, just a few scattered showers. By the end of the week, some heavy showers both breaking out in the north and the west initially, and then more heavy showers and potentially long spells rain and storm pushing up from the south as we go through the weekend into the early part of next week. This is the option on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. From the Isaac Med Thomas, it gets us to the 23rd of June. 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure to our east. And low pressure is out to west. That should bring up uh, very warm air from the south. So lots of dry 
uh, warm weather with that potentially at day 10. In two weeks time, these are the options that we've got. It goes to the 28th of June. 18 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure right over top country, mostly dry, 5 and warm. 17 with low pressure towards Iceland, high pressure around France. Winds coming in from west. It could be a little bit more uncertain in the north, should mostly dry down the south. And then 16 with low pressure over Scandinavia, high pressure in the middle of the Atlantic. And uh, so that's going to be perhaps slightly more northerly with the airstream. It could be a little bit showery as well. Uh, right, last thing we'll look at is CFS V2 for July. So this is the yesterday's CFS V2 monthly for uh, July, showing a high pressure. Um, generally bridging to the south coast, there's probably lower pressure up here. So it's a little bit more westerly, that particular CFS update for July. A little bit more westerly, especially so. Uh, for the north. A warm month though is being predicted here with above average temperatures in the red colours, one two degrees above normal. And as far oops, as far as precipitation is concerned, uh no signal. As I say, the CFS weeklies have not updated um at the time of recording the video. Anyway, they might update later on in the afternoon. Uh if they do, I'll bring you them tomorrow. But um today as I'm recording video, no CFS weeklies. I'm afraid. Right, we're done. If you enjoy the video, please do you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Webbies. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Um, we have put on uh, a lot of subs over the last few days. So we are now at around 16,750 or something. No, what I'm talking about. 16,100. Should have gone off on this tangent, would I? Should I? Uh, no, we are now at 16,175. I knew there was a seven in there somewhere. Um, so we're not that far away from 16.2k. If you could go to sub, get to 16.2k, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Have also reached 17. Uh, thousand followers on our Twitter account as well. So absolutely epic. Hello to all of our new subscribers and followers, uh, wherever you uh, follow us from. Hello to all of you. Thank you so much for the support. Right, I'll just tell you coming up tomorrow. So you're going to be uh, sitting in the UK weather forecast, USA forecast as well. Tomorrow I'm going to try and get the uh, evaluation for the spring forecast done for tomorrow as well. So, uh, of course, we are now past the spring season, well and truly, um, trying to see how the spring forecast went. Uh, we're going to be lighting our 10 to 14 day uh, at 6pm uh, tomorrow. So I shall see you maybe live tomorrow for our um, our uh, our 10 to 14 day uh, live stream. We've got the third glass so update coming up for you this evening. Check back to the channel for that if you're interested in weather for the Grass Sobby Festival. But for this video, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of this hot and sunny uh, lovely, lovely, lovely Tuesday afternoon. Enjoy it if you want it uh, and you've got it. <laughs> but for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.